Welcome to Land the House. I've been invited to a small homestead to take a look at a ram pump that has not been functioning correctly and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it working. There's a one inch drive pipe coming in going to a foot valve that has the uh, the flapper facing so it'll fall down from gravity. Let's see if I can get it to start here. So one issue may be this valve. We might be replacing that. The next issue that I've seen is that the pressure tank is quite small. So I'm going to replace this pipe with a much larger pressure tank. The intake to this system is coming down two different one inch PVC lines here, going into this rubber tote. And the overflow comes off the back side here, while the drive pipe comes out from this side and a tote like this allows two different things. An air-free intake and also allows for silt and debris to build up in the tank. So the drive pipe is a little bit short, but should be fine. And the delivery pipe is a couple hundred feet of this half-inch poly pipe, which is then buried at this point. We're draining this rubber tote so that the drive pipe will not be full of water when we start to uh, change out this pressure tank. Sometimes those threads don't match up as well as the PVC. We now have the drive pipe full again. I'm going to push the waste valve. May have to drain some air out. Okay. This valve is definitely getting stuck. I'm going to go ahead and remove this foot valve here and replace it with a swing valve. Alright, there's a bushing on here that I need to remove to get this to work. In order to get the foot valve installed for the one inch pipe, it had to use a bushing here from one inch up to, I'm guessing, one and a quarter. And uh, we were unable to get that piece off, even using some pretty good wrenches. So we have rearranged the pump. We used the previous pipe here that was the pressure tank and have moved this up. So there's some loss of potential here in this long distance, but we should be able to get this to work. With those modifications, things seem to be working pretty consistent now. The larger pressure tank will keep enough pressure to push water uphill, and uh, the swing valve is working much better than the foot valve. After about a 30 minute to uh, an hour wait, we now have water up here at the top. And it's, uh, on the course of a day, going to be uh, a good bit of water. This ram pump was installed for a woman who is living off grid with no power and no electricity. And so this uh, water is extremely important to her. 
So it was very uh, rewarding for me to help her to get water back to her house and uh, she was quite thankful as well. So uh, when I first saw the pump, I knew that the pressure tank was way too small and I'm really not sure how it even worked before. But um, increasing that uh, allowed us to uh, turn on the delivery pipe and not uh, lose all the pressure immediately um, because of that small pressure tank. Also, um, at some point the pump had been damaged and uh, somebody else had put a foot valve on the waste valve uh, because the previous pump, uh, the previous uh, valve was uh, one of those uh, piston valves but uh, it had become damaged and the new foot valve just did not work. So adding the flapper valve or the swing valve uh, was really able to get that pump going. Now one thing that was kind of interesting we uh, tried to start the pump and it would not stay um, cycling and the problem was the uh, bounce in the pump so the pressure wave was so strong it would actually push the pump up and down uh, because they just kind of had it uh, suspended there <laughs> above the creek so uh, placing a rock under the pump and then a couple rocks on top of the pump locked it down and uh, it worked really well so not exactly sure what the flow rate was at the top but uh, over the course of a day it was more than enough for this woman to um, filter for drinking and do some laundry and uh, even water her garden so very happy I hope you have enjoyed this video if you've got some comments write those down below and as always I will see you in the next video bye